Hello everyone, it is Mike Tudor again, uh, and in this video I am going to talk about um, the different uh, calendars that we see uh, for Cantonese people, in which uh, the lunar calendar and the solar calendar. Now, what is the difference? Um, now, first of all, the solar calendar is the current standard all over the world where the calendar is based on the sun to measure the passage of time. Now, the lunar calendar, on the other hand, is based on the moon instead, which measures the 12 months based on uh, from new moon to new moon. Now, since both are based on different calculations, of course, the dates are a bit different and um, Chinese in general follows uh, both types of calendars. Now let's go over how uh, we pronounce uh, the words of these two types of calendars in Cantonese. So for the, um, the calendar that we all use all around the world, um, the solar calendar, in Cantonese we call it Sunlight. Sunlight. Now the word sun in the in sunlight doesn't mean uh, the word sun in English. It actually means new. So in a sense, when we are referring to uh, the the standard calendar that we all use all around the world, we refer to this as the new calendar or sunlight in Cantonese. Now less commonly you would probably hear the word ye like ye like now the word ye comes from the 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 um the ideology of the yin and yang where yang um refers to the uh the hot or or the warmth uh of the of the two energies and the sun, uh, which is the solar calendar, is more or less in the yang, fits under the yang energy. So that's why um, when we refer to the solar calendar, less commonly we would call it yang, like yang, like. As for the lunar calendar, the most common term that you would hear is the word gao like, gao like, where the word Gao actually means old. So the word Gao Lei actually means old calendar. Gao Lei. Now the second one that's less commonly used is called Yam Lei. Yam Lei. Again, this is actually um, from the uh, ideology of the yin and yang. And um, it is referred in the past times that the moon uh, is of the yin energy. So that is why when we refer to the lunar calendar, we will also refer to this as yam light. And this is actually a less commonly used. Now the last one is actually more commonly used than yam light. And that is nong light. No, like. Now the word no actually means uh, farmers, in a sense. So uh, uh, no, like, in 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 actually the 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 definition is actually the farmers calendar, and that is actually somehow more used uh, uh, when you are seeing particular dates under the lunar calendar. So for example. If you're talking about um, March 1st, or in Cantonese we would say Sam Yut Yat Ho, where Sam Yut means March, um, the third month, and Yat Ho means first day of the month. So when you're talking about that in the lunar calendar, you would probably say Nong Lek Sam Yut Yat Ho or Gao Lek Sam Yut Yat Ho. Less commonly, you would actually say yam like sam yu ya ho. So, however, though all three of those, when you actually hear these uh, as part of the conversation, you would know that they're referring to the lunar calendar. So, all three of them: gao like, yam like, long like, 
all of them refers to the lunar calendar. Now, as for the word calendar, you would see the solar calendar and the lunar calendar. We, we refer to these with the word light as the word calendar. However, though, when we say calendar in itself, we would actually have both terms. The first term is yutlek, which means month calendar, and yatlek in terms of the day calendar. You wouldn't say the word lek in and it itself. So when we want to say calendars, we would want to say either yutlek, which is the month calendars, or the yatlek, which is the day calendars. Now, what is the difference? Well, calendars, when you see uh, uh, that uh, has the, the division of months, which is like for the month of January, you are like, let's say 30 days, uh, and you would see all of it in one page, you would refer to those as yutlek. Now, as for yutlek, which means the day calendars, um, I don't know if you've seen those, but in a lot of uh, very old um, Chinese families, you would have a stack of paper that hangs, like a small but thick stack of paper that actually pins on the wall or or magnet, uh, put a magnet on the fridge for it. And then, and then uh, these actually uh, has uh, um, the, 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 the days of the month. So you've got actually like, let's say 365 or 366 sheets. And each of them refers to the days in the year and then uh, as as days goes by then you just uh, rip the sheets off from that calendar and those are generally called yak leg but nowadays people use it interchangeably so so some people were referred to uh, those monthly calendars as yak leg as well it doesn't really matter nowadays but when you uh, want to uh, say the word calendar you would actually say either you like or yat like you wouldn't just say the word like because nobody would actually understand if you just say that word now lastly I want to talk about what each of these calendars are used for so the solar calendar is basically used for your day-to-day -day activities such as setting up a meeting for businesses um, uh, uh, schools they generally use the standard calendars, making appointments. Like generally everything that you see in your everyday life, you would use your uh, solar calendar or your standard calendar or what we call sunlight in, in, in Cantonese. Now in terms of the lunar calendar or light in Cantonese, this calendar is used to keep track of Chinese specific holidays. So for example, um, Chinese New Year, which is Sunlin in, in Cantonese, and the Lunar Fest, uh, Festival, which is Zhongchaoji in Cantonese, um, as well as your Chinese birthdays, we would use the lunar calendar. And yes, you heard it right. We have two birthdays when we are Chinese. We have our Western birthday that we celebrate under the solar calendar. And we also have our Chinese birthday, which we celebrate under the lunar calendar. So don't be surprised uh, when you see Chinese families celebrating um, birthdays of a single individual in two different days. And what happened is, is that when you give birth to a child, um, your lunar calendar is usually not aligned with your solar calendar. But then you would have, in a sense, uh, because at years goes by, that that same day in which that person borns in, under the lunar calendar, solar calendar, they are in a different days now. Like, let's say after 20 years or, eight or, or 25 years. So now, because there's two different days, but you've got two different calendars, that means that you have two different celebrations. So oftentimes, um, for example, myself, uh, I would actually get presents um, and actually like red envelope money from for two different birthdays. So we are actually very lucky to have um, two calendars in a sense because um, uh, we would actually have two birthdays to celebrate. But no, we don't age two years in the same year. 
So in a sense, we're still like um, uh, the same age. We just have two different birthdays. And that actually summarizes uh, uh, this video. I hope that you really enjoy it. Um, and if you want more, please subscribe uh, to my channel. And this is Mike Tudor. See you in another video.